So we'll continue to talk about three-dimensional trigonometry or trigonometry applied in three-dimensional figures. Yeah, so I made a quick sketch of a cuboid here and the dimensions are five by two by four uh, units, all right? And we're gonna find the length of EC and then we're gonna find the angle between yeah, EC or CE and the plane AE, AEHD, all right? Let's start with EC. Okay, let me draw that line and as you can see, uh, EC, now do it properly, there we are. So that is that diagonal, yeah, going through the entire cuboid. Okay, now to calculate that, I should look at this particular triangle. Look at that. So to calculate CE, I should look at this right angle triangle. Okay, and I'm just going to draw that on a separate piece of paper um, next to each other so you can still see what's going on. So the triangle, there we go. That is C, E, and G. And we've got to find EC or CE, so I'm going to put an X there. And the length of GC is 4. And EG, well, I don't know AG yet. However, I can calculate EG because this is also a right angle triangle. Let me draw that over here. So that is H. E, G, uh, E, G, that's the same E, G, but now here it's the hypotenuse in this triangle. And I know that H, G is five and H, E is two. So I can calculate E, G and I use that information to calculate C, E. Okay, I hope you're still following me. Uh, let's have a go because it's all about Mr. Pythagoras, isn't it? So. There we go, a squared plus b squared equals the hypotenuse squared. Uh, that's the hypotenuse, that's what we're looking for. That's eg, and it is two squared plus five squared, okay? Four plus 25 equals eg squared. So eg will equal the square root of 29. I'm just gonna leave it like that. I'm not gonna work out how much that is. And why is that? Because I'm still going to use that information and I don't want all those decimals, so the square root of 29. Okay, and now to find the length of EC, I do the same thing, A squared plus B squared equals C squared. So the square root of 29 squared plus four squared equals X squared. That is 29, that is 16. Yeah, so that is going to be 45 if you add that. So x is the square root of 45. And you see, that's the first time I need my calculator. Yeah, well done. Square root 45, I have three significant figures. Um, and that is 6.71. There you go. So what is the length of EC? That is 6.71. I first had to find out EG, yeah using Pythagoras, and then I use the information in this right angle triangle to find BC. But now even a little bit more advanced is the angle between this line and a plane. And we're talking about the angle of EC and the plane AEHD. -E so we're talking about this plane here on the side, okay? And the angle it makes with it, okay? Now, again, I have to find a right angle triangle. And this is the right angle triangle you're looking for. I will draw this line and I'll draw this line because that is a right angle triangle. And we are then looking for this angle over here. And you have to decide where is the right angle. Where is it 90 degrees? That is over here. I'm going to show you again on a new piece of paper. So I will um, draw it roughly like this. Yeah, this is D. Yeah, this is C, and then we'll call that E. That is a 90 degree angle. CE, what is the length of CE? Well, we just found that, where is it? So it was 6.71. However, I don't want to use the rounded answer, so the square root of 45. So I'm gonna put that, the square root of 45. And um, what else do I know? Oh, I know DC is five. There we go. And then we're looking for which angle? 
CED, CED, so we're looking for this angle. Okay, and then once you have constructed that right angle triangle, because that's really the hardest decision you have to make, then it is fairly straightforward, isn't it? Because Toa Ka Sol, all right? So in my angle, we're talking about the opposite and the hypotenuse, so that is the sine. So the sine of x equals uh, opposite, I should say, so 5 divided by the hypotenuse, square root of 45. And to find the angle, you do the inverse. Again, I'm going relatively quickly. I've explained this in previous videos. So you get your calculator out. 5 divided by the square root of 45 equals, and then shift sign of that particular answer. And angles always to one decimal place, 48.2 degrees. All right, so whenever you are dealing with um, yeah, trigonometry in three-dimensional situations, you have to decide upon a plane uh, and, and translate the question into a two-dimensional situation. So you've got to find a plane where your question is taking place in. And on many occasions, you have to use Pythagoras' theorem to calculate the lengths of those diagonals. All right, I hope that was useful. Otherwise, you leave me a message and I'll do a couple more questions for you.